we're brought together by the pipe. We have fun, we do charity events. We do all this stuff because we don't have to, we do it because we love to. When I was 12 years old, my parents bought me a teeny tiny torch for Christmas and I fell in love. I've been blowing glass for so long when I work, I feel the flame come out of my chest and I feel like it's just part of me. I'm excited to say that I have people in my generation picking up the flame. The moment I started blowing glass, all I wanted to do is just play with hot glass in the flame no matter what it took. It allows me to have the opportunities to travel and see the world, which is all I've ever wanted to do. You just want to do it more and more. That's, I guess, maybe a little addictive. I think really anything that you're making with intention, with heart and soul, with purpose, that's art. When we throw gallery shows, people are experiencing the art that they buy and their friends are experiencing it. That kind of creates a bigger connection to the object for people, I think. When you get all these people together, you kind of feed off each other's energy and you probably do work a little bit harder. You get inspired. The hardest thing about being a pipe maker is dealing with the stigma of being associated with something that was considered immoral. We weren't mainstream. We'd worked in our garages making product to go and sell it in a parking lot. My idea of the American dream is exactly what we're doing, living our life as we choose. We want that validation. We want to be like the best degenerates we can be, but we still want people to look at it and be like, whoa. These guys work hard.